A new and serious health crisis has been added to Iraq's long list of serious problems. The health ministry says there are now 357 registered cases of cholera in the country. Medical personnel first detected the illness in Abu Ghraib, about 25 kilometers west of Baghdad. 144 cases have been detected in the district. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi has issued a series of emergency measures, including conducting daily water quality tests, setting up water purification stations, distributing bottled water to the internally displaced, delaying the opening of primary schools until October 18, deploying public health teams, and airing public service announcements about the outbreak on television. A spokesman for the health ministry said that low water levels in the Euphrates, whose water Iraqis use for drinking and farming, may have led to sewage contamination the water supply. He said high summer temperatures may have activated the bacterium that causes cholera. The study by our ministry showed that the low levels of the Euphrates and the unusually high temperatures in the summer have exposed the water sources in Iraq to such contamination and we are working with the related ministries to decontaminate the infected water sources and supplies. Doctors in Baghdad's medical city say they're focusing on detecting the disease and quarantining patients. The new instructions from the health ministry are to concentrate our efforts into detecting the symptoms of cholera and performing public services to educate the people on the proper measures to prevent the infection and detected cases will be subjected to quarantine. This patient left quarantine two days ago. My condition was terrible when I arrived in the hospital, but now I'm getting better. I remained in quarantine for three days and I recovered. I never expected to be treated soon. But honestly, the medication and the treatment were better than expected. This is not the first outbreak of cholera in Iraq. There was another outbreak in 2012. However, whereas the previous outbreak was concentrated in the north, this outbreak has been mostly affecting the center and south of the country. The Iraqi Health Ministry is doing its best to decontaminate the water sources across the country and prevent the expansion of such diseases in Iraq. And according to the spokesperson of the Iraqi Health Ministry, many foreign countries are assisting Iraq in this regard. Wissam Bati, CCTV, Baghdad.